Hey guys, I'm Lucas. Welcome to Kenu's episode 25, covering not one, not two, but three launches this week. The first one is the Chinese Long March 3B, which will launch from Zhejiang on Wednesday. The rocket will be used in its enhanced version, which means it will have a bigger first stage and boosters. It raises its total payload capacity to a geostationary transfer orbit from 5.1 to 5.5 tons. On top sit the second and the third stage, followed by the secret payload, which is probably China Set 1C. The second one is the Russian Proton M rocket, which will launch from Boykanur for the Russian Aerospace Forces. Proton M is the newest of its kind, which launched in 2001 for the first time. It has three stages as well, from which the first one is rather special. What appear to be side mounted boosters are actually fuel tanks, which feed the six engines below. The oxidizer, on the other hand, is shared from the core tank by all of those. On top of the second and third stage is the Breeze M upper stage, which will carry the military communication satellite Garpun which by the way stands for Harpoon. Last but not least is the Ukrainian Zenit 3F, which launches on Friday for the Russian Space Agency aka Roscosmos, also from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. It uses three stages and the F in its name stands for the Fregat upper stage, carrying the payload, the Electro L No. 2 weather satellite to space. Zenit's launch is scheduled for 13.45 UTC, which is evening in Baikonur, and it will fly west towards a relatively high inclined geostationary transfer orbit. The high inclination is necessary due to the launch site location so far north of the equator. The payload electro -L is designed to monitor the weather over Russia and the seas, but also gather data about solar activity and do measurements from Earth's magnetic field. Once decoupled, the Fregat upper stage will perform multiple burns, correcting the inclination and release the satellite in a circular orbit from where it will operate for roughly 10 years. China's Long March 3B E will launch at 16.45 UTC, therefore around midnight in Zhejiang. The area below its trajectory is populated, but according to Miles1316, who is a Chinese KSP fan from the US, the booster drop areas are evacuated prior to launch and the damage from falling debris is limited to structures, which would be compensated by the government. But such incidents are rather rare. China said one sees final destination is a geostationary or geosynchronous orbit above China, from where it will deliver telecommunication services to the area. Proton M will launch at midnight UTC, which is early morning in Kazakhstan. It will follow a similar trajectory over Kazakhstan's unpopulated steppe, also heading for a geostationary transfer orbit. The communication satellite Garpun is a so-called relay station. Earth's curvature makes a direct communication over longer distances or most frequencies impossible. Instead, such a relay satellite is used. Both the transmitter and the receiver point their dish towards it, which relays the incoming signal back to the ground. Thanks to the geostationary position, the satellite will always hover in roughly the same spot above Russia. Similar to the Fregat upper stage, the British M can be restarted up to 8 times and will insert the satellite into its final orbit, which will take approximately 9.5 hours. Okay, that was Kanu's covering Long March 3B, Proton M, and Zenit 3F. I hope you enjoyed the episode and to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.